Hi everyone, how is it going? This is about how to erase the background in Ibis Paint X. Creating a background is very easy with Ibis Paint. You can draw the background by hand, but you can use a lot of tones as background in Ibis Paint. Please make the background at the bottom of the layers. At the top, the pictures you drew are hidden. Open the layer screen by pressing the layer button at the bottom right. Oh, what is a layer? If you want to ask it, I have made a video explaining the layers before, so please watch the video. In addition, I have more videos about how to use Ibis Paint tools, so you can see them from the playlist URL in the comment field of this video. A bit late, but I will explain how to use Ibis Paint background tones. Press the picture button at the top right. Then there are materials and you will see various types of tones. From here, choose your favorite tone. Recommended is anime background color. There are a lot of tones that are likely to appear in manga and anime. I also recommend background patterns color. There are few, but there are many cute tones. I'll show you some tones as examples. Choose the few tones you like, and those tones are automatically created as layers. I usually choose about three backgrounds, and ask other people which background is the best. Then select the one that has a good reputation, and remove the rest background. So, how will I remove other backgrounds? It is very easy. Select a layer and date it with the trash button, or deselect the eye mark in the tone. Then the background layer will disappear. 
It's good to know that these ways can be used on any layers, not just the background layers. This time, because there was a layer with low transparency, the background tone of that part appeared. In such a case, it is better to erase the background tone of that part. Finally, perform image processing with filter. You can do various things such as light, shade, color, and blur. The filter that I often use is Gaussian Blur. This will moderately blur the background and highlight the person you draw. The intensity of the blur is adjusted from 3px to 5px. This time, when using parallel gradation, it became a good feeling background like sunlight. So I used this filter. I also like filter called Sear. The more realistic the background, the more anime-like. Finally, use blur flame to darken or lighten the edges. I always use the same filter for the background. So if there are any filters that I'm satisfied with, I'll make it a YouTube video. Okay, I'm going to finish the tutorial. If you find this video helpful, please give me good. For more information, please subscribe my YouTube channel or watch this I've spent related playlist. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!